Hola, I'm Marisol, Miss Marisol, and today I'm gonna introduce you two more landforms. But before I present you the new ones, I'm gonna ask you two questions from the last video. I'm gonna see if you guys were paying attention. Ready? Okay. So last time we talked about island and lake. So my questions are, number one, what is a lake? I'm going to give you two options. Option A, a lake is a body of grape juice surrounded by mountains of salt and pepper. Hmm. Option B, a lake it's a body of water surrounded by land. Hmm, that's a hard question. So, let's see. Hmm, if your answer is letter A, wrong. That's not the answer. The answer is letter B. A lake is a body of water surrounded by land. Now, next question. An island. What's an island? Option A. An island is it's a cookie, chocolate cookie, surrounded by orange juice. Option B. An island it's a piece of land surrounded by water. Oh, super hard again. Hmm. Okay, so if your answer is letter B, shoo-hoo! Right, that's the right answer. Island, it's a piece of land surrounded by water. Okay, good job, well done. Keep paying attention. Next, so the two new landforms are archipelago and system of lakes. An archipelago is a group of islands oh, sorry, near one another like this and you know what's an island an island is a piece of land surrounded by water so an archipelago is a group of islands together next the system of lakes are sorry the system of lakes is a group of lakes near one another okay like this and you know what's a lake a lake is a body of water surrounded by land now how can you make an archipelago or and a system of lakes in your house guess what Chaka cha chan Chaka cha chan So Miss Marisol found two super cool materials that you can maybe use if you have them in your house. I found leads, leads from bottles, leads. Okay, I found leads and pasta. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first one. An archipelago. This is the archipelago of New Zealand. New Zealand is an archipelago. It's New Zealand, I'm going to tell you. New Zealand is an archipelago and the three main islands are the north, the south, and this little one is called Stuart. Can you see what did I glue on the island, on the land? Pasta. So after that, I just drew the waves, and this is my archipelago. And I'm gonna show you how did I make my my no my my system of lakes. This system of lakes is the Lake District. It's in England. And guess what? I'm going to pour water on each of my lids inside the lid I'm gonna pour water to make 
my system of lakes, my group of lakes near one another. And I'm going to show it to you because if I put it up, ta-da! Wow, it looks amazing, huh? Okay, now, if you don't have, if you don't have lids, and if you don't have pasta, well, you always have paper and markers, or paper and colors, or paper and uh, cranes. Okay, so here it is, my archipelago. This is the Japanese archipelago. You, I didn't know you guys, but Japan has, let me tell you, more than 1,000 islands together near one another. Japan has 6,852 islands. Whoa, wow, wow, wow. And it's called the Japanese archipelago. So all these group of islands, they form the country of Japan. Nice, huh? Next, my system of lakes is this one. I drew the orange line and the yellow line to tell you something. This is called the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are in United States and Canada, but they're like in the middle. They share, like Canada and United States, they share these lakes. And over here, let me tell you, over here, I don't know if you have been in the Niagara Falls, but here, this is the Niagara Falls. And over here, this is the Lake of Michigan in Chicago. See? And over here is Canada, and down here is the United States of America. Now, uh, ah, so the lakes, these are the lakes, the group of lakes, surrounded by land. Nice, huh? Okay. Hope you can make all your activities at home and see you next time and I'm gonna ask you more questions about the archipelago and the lake and the island and the system of lakes okay thank you adios